Australia is experiencing some of the worst fires we've ever seen. My family and I live in New South Wales, and for the third time this season, our government has declared a state of emergency. But in the midst of this, more people are praying to God than I've ever seen before, including people that wouldn't usually pray. Sirens started up, and at that point, I was praying. I was an atheist mate for 25 years. I don't pray to the Lord very often, but yesterday, I've never prayed so hard in all my life. In this tumultuous time, many Christian groups are gathering to pray. My church congregation have been asked to pray and fast for rain. And prayer is extremely important. But how many of us are actively finding ways to share the gospel in a country crying out for hope? Watch what can be done whilst at a park with my family. Where are we going to go? To the park! Using three simple questions and a 20 second video on my phone. I've been stunned by what's happened, as I know you guys would have in the last three months. There's fires all over Australia at the moment. It's probably some of the worst fires we've seen in maybe even Australian history. It's really scary. We're actually, we holidayed in, in, in Lake Conjola okay. uh, in November and it's burnt down there. Yeah. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah so the yeah. Whole, entry. Whole, whole entry into Lake Conjola is gone. Yeah. It's insane. My goodness. And you guys, I'm sure, would agree with this, but Australians, when things are difficult, they seem to get together and really give each other a hand. Have you guys found that? Yeah, we, did, we actually did that. We all got together and put some money in and bought some beers and ciders for the guys at, at Wyoming. A lot of people have opened their homes to people that have been evacuated. Yeah, you band together to help your fellow man, which is a good thing to see, especially when you're experiencing you know, scary situations like the fires. Yeah, absolutely. And, and speaking of uh, scary situations, something I've found that Australians are doing more than any other time that I remember is is really praying. Even some people who don't usually pray have, have been praying. Let me, let me show you a, a little uh, video example of this. Well, this is just from ABC yeah. and Channel 7. Have a look at this. Sirens started up and at that, that point I was praying. <laughs> I was an atheist mate for 25 years. I was praying to God, I was praying to Jesus, turn the wind. The team here is amazing and it's due to them and the, the prayers from the whole country that, that we survived. Yesterday I thought I was going to die, I really did. And I don't pray to the Lord very often, but yesterday I never prayed so hard in all my life. Why do you think that people, when their life's in risk or, or they're in a dire situation like we are at the moment, why do you think people turn to God, turn to prayer? I think it's a bit of a natural instinct. And no matter what you believe in, there's a creator and you want to know that that creator has got your back and yeah. is there for the people. And like, to like we're atheists and I would do the same thing. I, I would pray. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah I, I'd agree with that. People run out of options and feel that they have to look for something, I guess, beyond themselves. I think it's also the, the, the hope that there's something else that could help. It's often um, a last hope, I guess, for people. In this tragedy, people tend to realise that they're not always in control um, and it gives them reassurance to reach out to someone higher than them. Have you found your, yourself at all calling out to God or praying recently? Yeah, I had a meltdown on New Year's Eve with the fires up at Charmhaven. I can't say that I have. Um, I'm not religious. Well, I'm Christian, so I do try to, <laughs> and not just in times of strife, like now with the bushfires, but every you know, every day as well. Have yeah. you found yourself turning to prayer in the midst of any of this? Yeah. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Don't, to be honest, don't know who to, but it, to someone out there listening, you just hope, hope for the best for everyone. Yeah, pray regularly. After just a few questions and a short video, people were open to hearing the gospel. It says in the Bible that God has put eternity on man's hearts, and we know that we're not going to live forever, as well as a presentation called the three circles. This first circle represents brokenness. We weren't made for brokenness. We were made for something called God's perfect design. But we as humans, we turned away from God, and something called sin separated us from it. People allowed us to pray with them. Lord, we thank you for Australia. We just ask that you would send rain to put these fires out and we were able to plant seeds in the lives of those who haven't yet received Christ. But I would encourage you not to wait until times get difficult. I want you guys to have eternal inheritance with him in heaven. Say, Jesus, I, I need you as my savior. Today, I give my life to you, just in your own time. We're also able to encourage other Christians to share their faith. So I encourage you guys as Christians as well. People are really ready and open at the moment. Do you think a conversation like what I've just chatted with you guys about could be an encouragement to Christians to step out and chat to people about what's going on at the moment? Yeah, definitely. It certainly is an important opportunity more than, more than ever to be what we've been taught and what we've been committed to do as Christians. 
an important opportunity Christians can even take at a park with kids. Please pray for Australia through this crisis. But whether your country is in crisis or not, if you're a Christian, share the gospel. And if you're not sure where to start, try asking people a few simple questions. If you're a Christian and you want to grow in sharing your faith, take a look at Silence Breakers. It's an online course, and like all of our content, it's available free of charge. Head to silencebreakers.com.